What's up people, welcome back to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafio and coming up in this edition, well, inform Ghanaian player that is Mohamed Kudu scored his third consecutive goal of the season in the UEFA Champions League as his side. Ajax were battered 6-1 by Napoli in their game that was played on Tuesday. Also, another Ghanaian player who was on target was Kamal Soa who also scored his second consecutive goal in the UEFA Champions League as La Bruge defeated and let's go Madrid by two goals to zero in their match in the UEFA Champions League. More of this coming up here on Sports Update Ghana as well as Callum Hudson Odu who was in action for Bayern Leverkusen as they played also on Tuesday. We want to stick and stay here as I bring you up to speed on all that here on Sports Update Ghana. But first, please subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. Now, let's get into the details and Ghanaian player that is Mohamed Kudus played for Ajax in their 6-1 defeat to Napoli in the UEFA Champions League. Mohamed Kudu scored the opener in the game as he got one of the luckiest goals ever in his career when Ajax got the opener. Well, Ajax were looking for the opener in the ninth minute and Mohamed Kudu found himself at the right place at the right time when a shot struck him and entered the net for him to score his seventh goal in seven matches for Ajax at club level and this season so far in total Mohamed Kudus has scored eight goals. The player's work rate was highly highly uh, good because he played I think 90 minutes in this match and got a yellow card in the 90th minute and Mohamed Kudus oh my word being used as a force number nine I think that is where he tries very well and that is where I think coach Otoadu must look at maintaining him well unfortunately for his club that is Ajax Amsterdam they lost this match by six goals to one against Napoli and I know now people are going to come at Mohamed Kudus despite scoring and say that okay Mohamed Kudus has been used as a force nine again and yet again Ajax are failing to score more goals yes that has been the outcry of most uh, that fans of Ajax they say that I am um, Mohamed Kudus being used as a force number nine is depriving them of more goals but I don't think that is the issue Napoli were just too good for Ajax and that's how come they won the game by 6 goals to 1 but Mohamed Kudus was able to get a few chances in the game unfortunately I can't bring you the highlights but you can search for Napoli versus Ajax by 6-1 and definitely I know you will get up to speed on all that but Mohamed Kudus I must say well, the youngster cannot stop scoring well his first goal in the UEFA Champions League this season was again Rangers went on to score a goal against Allison in the game against Liverpool then in their 6-1 defeat to Napoli he has scored a goal so yes Mohamed Kudus making a good name for himself Kudus to the young gentleman but well, away from Mohamed Kudus one other Ghanaian player who is playing the UEFA Champions League who cannot be overlooked is Kamau Sowa yes the player who according to many does not want to play for the Black Stars scored a second consecutive goal in the UEFA Champions League for Club Bruges as they defeated Atletico Madrid by two goals to zero in their match that was also played on Tuesday. Kamal Sowa scored the first goal in the match in the 35th minute after a combination of passes in the box and got a cool and a glorious true pass to him and he just tapped it in to score the goal or the first goal in the match for Club Bruges. Yes, the Belgian side that he pitches for well for club bridge they managed to score a second goal in the game and that's how come they defeated uh Simeone's men by two goals to zero in the match that was played on tuesday for kamal soa had one of the best days in the game as he was more used like a supporting striker to the main striker and managed to get a goal as well as his other um colleague that is uh Jutgla, who scored a second goal for Club Bruch in this particular game and well for um, Kamal Soa he played 90 minutes of action in this game and also featured in the game with Ghanaian defender that is Dennis Odwe. Dennis Odwe was also at the right back position for Club Bruch in this particular game and he was shown a yellow card for a bookable offense in this game and well for Dennis Odwe and Kamal, Den uh, Kamal Soa sorry they were the highest rated players on the pitch for Dennis Odui he was rated 7.6 and Kamal Soa got a 7.5 and that is a good rating for the two Ghanaian players. Well for Kamal Soa this was the second goal in the UEFA Champions League after scoring a goal in his side uh, 
emphatic 4-0 win over Porto in the second game of the UEFA Champions League where he scored one of his goals and now has two goals in the UEFA Champions League. Between him and Mohamed Kudus, we'll see how far they can go. But the two sides, uh, well, it looks certain that probably Club Bruges will make it out of the group stages to the knockout phase. But it's far from near, so we can't really uh, talk about that. But well, before we climax, let's look at another Ghanaian national or player of Ghanaian descent who was in action for his club in the UEFA Champions League. I'm talking about English player of Ghanaian descent, Callum Hassan Odwe, who was in action for Bayern Leverkusen in their 2-0 defeat to Porto in the UEFA Champions League. And Porto were able to get a 2-0 win over the German side and Callum Hassan Odwe was in action for his club that is Bayern Leverkusen and played some few minutes in the game up to 86th minute before he was substituted. Unfortunately, Bayern Leverkusen had to play with 10 men after player of Ghanaian descent, that is Dutch player of Ghanaian descent, Jeremy Frimpong, was shown as second Bukabu offense in the game and was sent off in the match, leaving Bayern Leverkusen with 10 men on the pitch. And well, it was unfortunate that Bayern Leverkusen had to lose the game by two goals to zero to the Portuguese side. But another Portuguese side that was in action was Sporting Lisbon and well, Patao Isaaku who scored a goal in Ghana's game against Nicaragua was left on the bench again as Sporting lost by 4 goals to 1 at away against Olympic Marseille in the UEFA Champions League. So far, Abdul Patao Isaaku is yet to make an appearance in the UEFA Champions League since joining Sporting last season. So, yeah, clearly these are the players who were in action for their respective clubs in the UEFA Champions League. Come out, so are scoring a goal for Club Bruges in their game against Atletico Madrid and Mohamed Kudus scoring his third consecutive goal in the UEFA Champions League after scoring a goal against Rangers Liverpool. He has now scored again against Napoli. Let me know what you think about this players in the comment section. Thanks for watching. My name is Joseph Adamafio. Please do subscribe, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment.